Teta Barra, a pioneer of the silver screen, transformed the face of early cinema with her powerful performances. Known as one of the first sex symbols, she captivated audiences as the femme fatale in numerous silent films. Her portrayal of Cleopatra remains a highlight of her career, showcasing her talent in a role that has become a defining moment in film history. Despite the loss of many of her films to time, Theta Barra's influence endures, remembered for her unique ability to bring complex characters to life and for setting a standard for actors in the burgeoning film industry. Theta Barra, one of the earliest film stars, known as the original screen siren, made a lasting mark in the early days of Hollywood. With her dark, mysterious persona, she became famous as the vamp short for vampire, captivating audiences with her alluring and sometimes villainous roles. Her fame rose from her performance in the 1915 film A Fool There Was, and she continued to be a major box office draw with over 40 films to her name. Now we turn to you. Do you recall a moment linked to Theta Barra that holds a special place in your heart? What qualities of hers do you think make her a timeless figure in the film industry? We're eager to read about your most treasured memory or personal encounter with this legendary star. Please share your stories and recollections in the comments. Stay tuned, as we have many surprising, amusing, and poignant facts about Theta Barra to share with you. Keep watching to uncover the stories behind this pioneering actress. Theta Barra, born Theodosia Goodman, grew up in a Jewish family in Cincinnati, Ohio. Her father was a tailor, and her mother was an actress in local theater, which sparked Theta's interest in acting. From a young age, she watched her mother perform and was drawn to the stage. Her parents supported her dreams, and she often participated in school plays and local productions. Theta's early exposure to theater through her mother's influence and the vibrant art scene in Cincinnati played a significant role in her development as an actress. She moved to New York City as a young woman to pursue her career, where she worked in theater before transitioning to film, which led to her becoming one of the most famous silent film stars of her time. Theta Barra was one of the earliest film stars, known as the vamp for her exotic and mysterious roles. She started in silent films around 1915 and quickly became famous for her portrayal of seductive women. She influenced the film industry by shaping the femme fatale archetype in cinema. Her style and on-screen persona encouraged other actresses to take on similar roles, expanding the range of characters women could play in movies. Theta's films were among the first to explore complex female characters, which was new at the time. She also helped make Hollywood a center for film production. Even though many of her films are lost, her influence remains. She showed that an actress could be both a major box office draw and a creative force in the industry. That Ibarra, born Theodosia Goodman, found her passion for acting during her time at the University of Cincinnati. She participated in several local plays which sparked her interest in the performing arts. After college, she moved to New York City, where she made her Broadway debut in 19. Her performance caught the attention of film director Frank Powell, who gave her a role in a silent film. This opportunity led to her breakthrough role in A Fool There Was, making her a star. Her portrayal of the vamp character in this film was so successful that it became her signature role, inspiring her to continue in the film industry. Theta Barra's early experiences on stage and her initial success in silent films were pivotal in shaping her career as an actress. Her story shows how a combination of talent, opportunity, and the right roles can ignite a lifelong passion for the arts. In Fort Lee, New Jersey, a street honors Theta Barra, reflecting her influence in the early days of cinema. Her rise to fame was so impactful that her family changed their surname to Barra, her casting in the film Kathleen Mavernine sparked controversy, critics thought she was not right for the role, and Irish-American groups were upset by her portrayal of an Irish character, leading to protests at theaters showing the film. Theta Barra, an early film actress, faced many challenges. She struggled with limited money, and people in the movie business did not believe she could succeed. Despite this, she kept trying and found new ways to show her acting skills. She worked hard and was creative, which helped her become a well-known actress in silent films. Her story shows that with determination and hard work, you can overcome tough situations and succeed. Theta Bora, a silent film star, became known for her exotic roles and mysterious persona. Her stage name, often believed to be an anagram for Arab death, was actually derived from her childhood nickname and her grandfather's surname. Despite the fame she gained from her role in Cleopatra, 
Only brief clips of the film exist today, last viewed in the 1930s. Off-screen, Data's life took a different turn after marrying director Charles Braben. She considered returning to acting, but ultimately, she lived out her days away from the limelight, enjoying her time as a social figure in Hollywood and New York. Theta Barra, one of the earliest film stars, had her career breakthrough with the 1915 movie A Fool There Was. Playing the role of a seductive woman, she became famous as the Vamp, short for vampire, a term coined for her femme fatale roles. This film was a huge success and made her a household name. Her peers and critics praised her strong screen presence and ability to draw viewers into her performances. Another significant moment was her lead role in Cleopatra in 1917. Although most of her films are lost, her influence remains, and she is remembered for shaping the early days of Hollywood and for her powerful portrayals of complex characters. Theta Barra, known for her vamp roles, tried to change her image by starring in Kathleen Mavernian in 1919, a role different from her usual characters. However, the film did not succeed. She parted ways with Fox Studios that same year and later appeared in only two more films. The Unchastened Woman came out in 1925, and she ended her acting career with the short film Madam Mystery in 1926. Neil Gaiman, the writer of the Sandman comics, is said to have drawn inspiration from Theta Barra for his character Death. Theta's mother, Pauline de Coppet, was born in Switzerland and lived until 1957, surviving Theta by two years. Theta Barra, an early film actress known for her roles as a femme fatale, had a unique approach to her craft. She often drew upon her own life to shape her performances, bringing depth to her characters. Her style was distinct, marked by intense emotion and dramatic expressions that captivated audiences. She was one of the first to portray strong, complex women on screen, which was unusual for her time. Her personal experiences, especially her understanding of the public's fascination with celebrity, influenced her work greatly. She used this insight to create characters that were both alluring and mysterious, leaving a lasting impression on the film industry. Theta Barra's work showed that she was not afraid to explore dark and dramatic themes, which made her stand out as an actress during the silent film era. Her dedication to her roles and her ability to connect with the audience through the camera lens were key to her success. Theta Barra, known as the older sister of Lori Barra, faced unique challenges in her acting career due to her poor eyesight. She had to learn the exact location of everything on set to move confidently during filming. Despite her talent, Theta struggled with the public's inability to separate her real self from her on-screen roles. This confusion led to her being unfairly treated in her personal life, with people believing she was as villainous as the characters she portrayed. Her experiences reflect the early days of cinema when the line between actor and role was often blurred in the eyes of the audience. Theta Barra, one of the earliest film stars, was known for her roles as a femme fatale and helped shape the public's view of this character type. She was one of the most popular actresses of the silent era and starred in over 40 films. Her acting style and the characters she played influenced the way stories were told in movies. She brought depth to her roles, which allowed for more complex characters and plots in films. Experts say she paved the way for future generations of actors by showing that a woman could be both a lead character and a strong presence on screen. Her work inspired many actors and filmmakers to explore new themes and character types in their own work. Theta Barra showed that movies could tell more than just simple stories. They could explore the human condition and emotions in a deep way. Theta Barra a name that became synonymous with mystery and allure was the creation of a Hollywood marketing machine. The studio spun tales of her exotic origins, claiming she was born in Egypt and raised under the Sphinx's shadow. They even dubbed her the Serpent of the Nile to add to her mystique. However, these stories were fabrications. She had never set foot in Egypt or France. Her image graced a postage stamp in 1994, celebrating silent film stars, a tribute to her lasting influence on the film industry. Her legacy was further cemented with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, a posthumous honor that recognized her as a significant figure in cinematic history. Theta Barra, known for her roles on the silver screen, also led a life rich with personal interests and values that shaped her as a person. Away from the camera, she was deeply involved in supporting the welfare of animals and often volunteered at local shelters. 
Her love for animals also influenced her choice of roles in public appearances, where she advocated for their protection. Theta was also passionate about education and literacy, frequently visiting schools and libraries to read to children and encourage them to learn. Her belief in the power of education to change lives was evident in her support for scholarship funds and educational programs. These personal pursuits not only fulfilled her, but also provided a foundation for the depth and authenticity she brought to her acting career. Thetabara, a notable actress of the silent film era, completed her high school education at Walnut Hills High School in 1903. Her career in film was marked by a significant loss when a fire destroyed Fox Studios in 1937, along with most of her films. Bara had kept a personal collection of her work, but it was only in the 1940s that she discovered the films had deteriorated beyond repair. Despite this setback, her passion for acting remained strong. In 1936, she expressed her desire to act again during a radio broadcast and shared her search for a suitable script to mark her return to the silver screen. Thetabara, a pioneer in silent films, set a standard for acting during the early days of cinema. She showed that an actor could bring deep emotions without a spoken word. Her work encouraged many to explore acting. Looking ahead, she hoped to support new talent and guide them in their careers. Her advice to newcomers was simple, stay true to your passion, work hard, and learn from every role. She believed in the power of persistence and the importance of every experience in shaping an actor's skill. By following her path, she felt that anyone with dedication could find their place in the film industry. Thetabara, a name synonymous with the silent film era's allure, lived a life that contrasted sharply with her on-screen image. Known for her portrayal of seductive characters, she was in reality a woman of simplicity and depth. Her residence at 632 North Alpine Drive in Beverly Hills was a far cry from the exotic locales of her films. At the time of her passing, Theta left behind an estate valued at 4 dozen, a significant sum for the era. Her will reflected her caring nature with bequests to her husband, family members, and charitable causes, including children's hospitals and the Motion Picture Relief Fund. The majority of her wealth was left to her sister, Lori. Despite her public persona, those close to her knew Theta as a reserved individual, more at home among books than the glitz of Hollywood parties. Her marriage to director Charles Brabin was a testament to her personal life stability, enduring until her death, despite rumors of infidelity. Theta Bar's story is one of contrast, bridging the gap between the image of a femme fatale and the reality of a private, thoughtful individual. Theta Bar, one of the earliest screen actresses, showed an intense love for acting that drove her to become a star of silent film. She was known for her strong characters and became famous as the original screen vamp. Her work helped shape the early movie industry and inspired future generations of actors. Her dedication to her craft and ability to adapt to new roles showed the world that with hard work and imagination, anyone could make their dreams come true. Theta's story is a reminder that creativity and sticking to your goals can lead to success and leave a lasting memory in any field. Theta Bara, a silent film star, had dreams beyond the screen. She planned to share her life story through a film, seeing a local child as part of her own family to star in it. Sadly, her declining health prevented this dream from becoming a reality, and she passed away before it could be made. Thora's life was filled with interesting chapters, including the time she lived in a Grand Tudor style house in Los Angeles. This home, which she sold to Roscoe Arbuckle and Minta Durfee in 1918, later housed other notable film industry figures. In a twist of marketing for her film Cleopatra, Barra aligned her star sign with that of the ancient queen, despite the historical Cleopatra being a Capricorn and Barra herself a Leo. This claim, though not accurate, was part of the allure surrounding her portrayal of the legendary figure. Theta Barra, a star of silent films, has a unique legacy. Out of her 40 films, only six remain today, along with some fragments. This makes her one of the actors with the most lost work who has been honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. She completed her education at the University of Cincinnati before embarking on her acting career. After her passing, she was laid to rest under the name Theta Barra Braben at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, California. Theta Barra, one of the earliest film stars, faced a tragic loss that many are unaware of. Despite her fame, her legacy is not well preserved. Most of her films are lost, with only a few surviving copies. 
This loss is due to a fire in 1937 at the Fox Film Corporation storage facility, which destroyed the majority of her filmography. As a result, her work, which helped shape early Hollywood, is largely inaccessible, leaving us with only a glimpse of her talent and impact on the film industry. Betta Barra, one of the earliest screen actresses, left a significant mark on film. Her roles shaped the way we see leading ladies in movies today, but we invite you to share your views on her performances and the influence she had on the world of film. If you enjoy content that honors the pioneers of entertainment, please like, share, and subscribe for more. Your support helps us bring more stories and recognition to those who have laid the groundwork for the entertainment we enjoy today. Share your thoughts in the comments below.